The Coral Sea is a Midway class carrier, one of the Navy's oldest, but it will be needed until newer carriers come online. Today, the Portsmouth Chamber of Commerce, representatives of Tidewater cities and state and national politicians got together to tell Congress what they want. Schedule the overhaul of the aircraft carrier USS Coral Sea for the Naval Shipyard in Portsmouth, Virginia. The Naval Shipyard, whose two straight Chief of Naval Material Productivity Excellent Awards give it calls to claim being the best in the Navy. Speakers claim the overhaul could be done here in 12 months, while it would take 18 months in some other yards. The stakes are high, $127 million in salaries and local purchases. And since each of those dollars generates five to seven other dollars, the total is more like $600 million. But there's a strange twist to the fight to bring the Coral Sea to the Portsmouth Yard. That is that most of the lobbying effort is going to be to convince Congress to renovate a battleship, the Missouri, at a yard in Long Beach, California. The Missouri must go to Long Beach for the Carl C. to come here. That word from Navy Secretary John Lehman on Wednesday. Two other battleships are already being renovated, the New Jersey, shown here, and the Iowa. The House Appropriations Committee has already approved funding for the Missouri. The Senate has not. So Whitehurst says Senate committee members must first be convinced to support the bill when it goes to a conference committee. If the Coral Sea is not brought here, other work will be substituted. But this panel, at least, wants the carrier. In Portsmouth, Terry's on The Daily News. Also from the Commonwealth.